Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm so excited because I literally, you might have already seen it by the thumbnail, the title, but I just ran to my store yesterday and grabbed this gem right here. I have not played with it at all. It literally still has the little film that they have on top. I can't wait to jump straight into the video, but before we do, make sure to subscribe to my channel and click the little notification bell button if you want to get notified about my new Essence video. And I do upload a lot of drugstore videos and reviews. And of course, make sure to follow me on my social media to learn about my next video or to vote about my next video and simply just chat with me. And one last thing, if you are interested about the jewelry that I'm wearing, it's coming super 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 soon to Blintings and I can't wait for you to get your hands on them and somebody touching and wearing my jewelry and being happy with it is is literally why I'm creating everything so if you want to get notified when they actually go live Instagram page and the Etsy page will be linked down below and I'll have all my makeup on and I can't wait to dive into this palette so let's get going I was browsing on Cosmetic for Less website like I always do, which is where I buy probably 90% of my drugstore makeup, I would say. I will have it linked down below for you guys. Not an affiliate link or anything, just a website I really love and they ship worldwide. So I saw this palette and I clicked to buy. It was brand new, mind you. It was the first day and I clicked to buy and it says sold out. And I freaked out because it looked so gorgeous. So this is the Ho 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 Essence Eye Shadow Palette. Jingle all the way. You guys know I am a slave to pinks, purples, and reds. And this thing has everything in it. It has pinks, purples, reds, and glitter. What really got me into this palette is that if you can see now that I'm moving the palette, this shade here and these two up here, they just look metallic, foiled, juicy, and wet. And this is what kind of caught my attention because yes, they do have other shimmers here, like these two, they have this gold shimmer, but when I move the palette around, these three at the edges really stand out and they're like, they just look super wet. And what they remind me of when I looked at them were the metal chrome eyeshadows that I've done a video all about. There will be a card somewhere up here if you want to check the whole collection out. This glitter sort of has like this greenish undertone gold glitter paired together with this pink glitter and I'm like, let's dive in, let me scoop you in closer, put some eyeshadow on my naked eyelids because I look like a potato. You guys get very itchy around your nostrils because I get super itchy there and it's so annoying, I can't even. First of all, I'm gonna go in with the top center shade. It looks like a matte, but it looks like it could be a little bit satiny. Has quite a bit of, you know, dust, fallout, whatever you wanna call it. I'm just gonna kindly place this where else? In my crease. It's actually super pigmented. I did an essence video on an eyeshadow palette that they brought out that was a dupe for the Urban Decay Naked Heat and it's full of burgundies and reds and browns and they perform so fantastically. That was one of their more expensive palettes. That was an eight euros palette. You might have to run to the store before it goes sold out because it's a limited edition. Really bums me how Essence brings the most bomb eyeshadows and they make them limited edition rather than putting them in their own more collection and yes, I'm willing to pay, you know, eight years for the palette, just put it in your normal collection so everybody can actually, you know, get their hands on it. Mind you, it does not flake at all. It literally just blended itself. And right now I'm having, what is this? And right now I'm literally having the driest eyelids in the entire world. I suffer from eczema. I think you guys know this by now if you're watching any of my reviews. So we're gonna have to leave with dry eyelids. You guys, this is going to be a super simple eye look that I think everybody can do, but I just really wanted to dive into most of the shades right here. Oh my God. You guys, do you see that? This is liquid. This must be the chrome single shadow formula, which I showed you guys in my previous review. I really don't know how they create this sort of formula and this pigmentation and you can say I'm baffled 
but in a good way. I'm gonna start with the coppery shade and I'm gonna put this on the inner part of my upper lid. Um, okay, I really don't know what to say about this. This is like putting liquid lipstick straight on my lid. This looks wet. Next to it, I'm gonna go with the sort of rose goldy pink and that's gonna go in the center. Whoa. Wait a minute. Wow. And last but not least, I'm gonna go with the foiled dark burgundy all the way to my outer corner. Okay, I'm full of fallout, but do I seem like a care? Because I don't. And I'm really, really sad because my camera stopped recording without me realizing. So what I did here to complete sort of the look, I put the gold shimmer shade in my inner corner to bring some light into the look. I also put that burgundy plum shade underneath my eye on a more structured way. I didn't really blow it out. And in my lower lash line towards my inner corner, this is where I put the glitter for a little bit of a pop of shine. And this is basically what I did. Enjoy the rest of the look. I'm just gonna go throw a little liner on because I really feel that this look needs a very sultry, big black eyeliner. I'm gonna throw some lashes, finish the other eye off camera, and I'm gonna come back to tell you all the details you wanna know about this beautiful palette right here. Okay, so this is the final look completed. Just don't look completely like ignore this eye because I tried to put on some lashes, it didn't work. I don't know if any of you is having trouble with House of Lashes, but every time I try to put on House of Lashes, my eyes start crying. I can never get the band right. It just seems like the band is just not flexible enough. Look how huge these lashes are. Right now I'm wearing flatter lashes in the style of Intoxicating and I literally put them on in two seconds. I was like, chook, chook, done. But House of Lashes, I can just never, never get them on right. I don't know what it is, and it just makes my eye water and it just ruin my whole eyeliner, and I'm like, why? This eyeshadow look took me five minutes. If I could do both eyes in my own time, it would take me five minutes. Blendability, A+. Plus. This blended in literally seconds. I put them on, I blew them out and they're done. You can see them on my eyes, they're literally blended out to perfection and I love the three foiled shades which is one, two, three here. The only shade I do not have on my eyes is the one that I dinked down here which is sort of same as this one but this one is foiled so I wanted to. So I've got something like a rainbow going on in my eye from the bronze to the dark burgundy foiled eyeshadow. Both mattes on my eyes, the purple burgundy underneath and of course you can see the glitter in my inner corner of my lower lash line. Oh my god, this is beautiful! I just want to rant a little bit because Essence brings in their main collection the very mediocre palettes and there's going to be an eyeshadow palette review by Essence. I have literally every single eyeshadow palette by Essence and I'm gonna be talking about the good, the bad, the meh with you guys in an upcoming video. This one's gonna end up there but by the time this video is up I don't know if this is gonna be available so now that you have the time run and grab it. I just don't know why they bring the mediocre palettes that have like good shades and a lot of bad shades in them and then they just market them for four to five euros. I'd rather pay eight euros and get this gem right here Three full foiled wet metallic shades, two shimmer shades, two very nice um, everyday neutral brownish red matte shades and glitter all in one palette. It's on the go, it's super lightweight, it's super tiny. I love the packaging, not that it makes any difference, but the quality in here, you guys, is amazing. I did not find a single eyeshadow that was a flop in here. They are all beautiful. And actually, I have not tried this shade right here. Holy. So let's do a live swatch. Yeah. You guys, these, these are just amazing quality. I just love it. I think it has pretty much everything, apart from a little bit of a darkening shade and a highlight shade, which I don't mind because I use my highlighter in my inner corners anyway. That's usually what I do to tie up my whole look together. This is a great on-the-go palette to take it with you everywhere. And I'm definitely gonna be taking this when I go to Greece for Christmas because I feel like it is gorgeous. Get 
onto your stores and grab this palette ASAP because it is limited edition and you're gonna miss out on it if you don't grab it right now. Everything else that I have on my face will be in the description down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this review and I'm telling you, go and grab this palette and I hope to see you guys on my next video. Bye-bye!